I'm from the book of Melchi. Thank you, Micah. And Melchi is the last prophet of the Old Testament. And he was classified as a minor prophet. I think he had 17 prophets in the Old Testament that was, uh, that was uh, put in our historicity of the Bible. We had 12 major, is that right? I mean, the Bible scholar got here. Uh, 12 major scholars, a prophet, and, and then five minor prophets. And, and, and Melchi is the last not only prophet, a minor prophet, but the last prophet of the Old Testament. The name Melchi meaning my messenger. Amen. That he just wasn't a prophet of his own, but, but he belonged to somebody. It said my messenger. That means God claimed them. God said he belongs to me. He's my messenger. So what, is, what Melchi is saying to you come from me. Right. And that same thing today, what a preacher preaches shouldn't just come from he, himself. Yes, yes. Are y'all with me? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, amen. We are just messengers. Yes, right. We're ambassadors right. of God. Yes. Amen. So, so Melchi is saying to the people, that you're giving God your leftovers. How many of you uh, feel like you're giving? I know you ain't gonna answer that question. <laughs> That's it, brother. Giving God your leftover. It is dangerous for us to give God our leftovers. God will not be pleased with our leftovers. You, you, you know. Uh, all of us should be familiar with leftovers uh, uh, in our home. Uh, and uh, if, 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 if you know you don't eat all your food that your wife or mother cook, uh, normally they don't just throw it all away. But they wrap it up and put it up for, call it leftovers. Now the next meal you eat, you're going to have to eat these leftovers. And, and, and most, somebody said they did this morning. And, and, and most times you don't like those leftovers. I, I used to despise leftovers. I always want my wife to cook me fresh food, hot and steaming, and smell the aroma of the gravy and so forth and so on, the steak that is being cooked. And I could walk in the kitchen and smell it. But leftovers, you can't smell it. Come on, y'all, help me now. Leftovers, you can't, 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 can't smell it. Now, my, my mother, uh, she used to throw away what we didn't eat. If she had bread, she would take that bread and make a, what do we call a bread pudding. Thank you, brother. Y'all help me. And, 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 and if you may have cornbread, she'd make what we call kush. Let somebody know what I'm talking about. And, 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 amen. And, and if you was hungry, but God is not hungry, y'all. He does not need our leftovers. You can't give God your leftover now. You may give it to us, but God will not accept our leftover. And and, and, uh, and uh, we put, you know, I have a daughter and my wife gone, and she cooked for me when she feels like it. <laughs> I say when she feel like it. If she don't feel like it, daddy got to go find something somewhere else. And when she feel like it, she cooked a whole lot. You know, ain't nobody gonna be there to eat but me. <laughs> now the next meal I get is gonna be leftover. <laughs> and if I don't stop by some restaurant. Then I gotta go for those leftovers, <laughs> and I and I and I really don't want them. But if I'm hungry, I got to eat them. But God, but God is not hungry for your leftovers. I, 
My, I'll let you know this. I may accept leftover. God is not hungry for your leftover because, uh, because he, he the owner of the 10,000 here, the cattle of the 10,000 here, all belong to him. Somebody say if he was hungry, he wouldn't tell nobody. So God does not need your left keeping to you for yourself. So my daughter cook, cook a lot of food and so the elderly, she know ain't nobody going to be there but to eat but me. I come home the next day looking for some food. I got to go for the leftover. But one thing I noticed about her, I can eat the leftover the first day but, but, but it, the, 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 after she cook. The second and third day, if I go back to look for it, she's going to throw it out because that it ain't no good. But if I ain't got nothing on the table, I, I need to go back to them leftovers. Yeah, I said, no, daughter, it's good. There ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Dad, no, you're not going to eat this. Daddy, you're not going to eat this. It ain't no good. I said, I don't see nothing wrong with it. You got it in the refrigerator. I don't see anything wrong with it. But Daddy ain't going to eat throw all my good food away. And I done paid for it. But God, but God doesn't need our leftover. In, the, in this same book of Malachi, he states, he said, I am God. Yes, yes, yes. Say, say that again. These, 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 brothers, these brothers know what I'm talking about. They know where I'm going. I am God and I change this not. What God disliked back in those days, he disliked today. Some, well, that was, that, was, that was yesterday. That was an old time ago. This is a new day. Who made the new day? I'm sure glad he left me in this new day. Yes. Amen. I just told you I'm 80, 80, 83 years old. Next couple of weeks I'll be 84 if I live. Yes. But I'm sure glad I'm in this new day. Yes, hey, hey, amen. Hey, he didn't take me out. Hey, amen. Because cause, cause I'm old. Yes. It, 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 I was back there. Hey, amen. 80, 80, 84 years ago I was back there. Yes. But I'm up here today. Yes, and I'm glad I'm in this new day. Amen. To see the changes that God has made in my life and where he brought me from and to. No, he said, I'm God and I changed it now. What God disliked and didn't accept back in those days, he disliked today and he's not accepting it in these days. I, I know we say, why are we Give him God your leftover. That's in not only in, in, in your finances, but in, in, in your time and talent. Yes, sir. You, you don't have time for God, and time belongs to God. But then you're going to tell God, I ain't got time. You won't tell him no word, but you tell me. And I'm a representative of God. Mike, do I have with it? I mean, no, no, what I'm trying to say. Let me see your hand. Yes, will, will, will y'all please help me say it then? Right. You'll help me see that 84 years old, I mean, 84, 84 year, and then some more. Right. If you help me. Because yeah. you'll lighten my load if you help me. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm not helping, such a mess you sing it's on, help me somebody. Yeah. Help, help me live Jesus. God will not have your left. You may, you may think you're giving God your leftovers. That's what he's telling you. I'm not going to accept your leftovers. Would you give this, your leftover to the king, I mean to the governor? Or so forth and so on? Would you give, you think he would be satisfied with you if you give the governor your leftovers? Or some dignitary your leftovers? You think he'd be, no. If the mayor, if the mayor, if the mayor of, of, of Houston would come in here, you wouldn't just offer him anything. That's right, check him out, brothers. Let him know the right front door is. Amen. Amen. But, but amen. Amen. Y'all, that's all right. We can, we can observe. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Micah. Uh, so, so God will not accept our leftovers. It, it, not only in our finances, but in our time and in our talent. Right. It, amen. Sometimes we use, use our talent for everything else but for God. We, we got a lot of time, amen, for use our talent elsewhere. Yeah, I, I think I got a witness out of this young man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and we just don't have no time for God. We always we think that we're putting God off. 
I, I think I noticed something here. I put it. I jot down. I jot down somewhere that uh, given. I said I, I use a statement. Mike, trying to give God your leftover. Trying. That means because you may try to get, but He's not going to accept it. And, and then I, I, I said somewhere. Do, 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 do you think when we present God our leftover, do we think that God doesn't know any better? Come on, y'all, I want y'all to walk with me now. When, when you present God your leftover, are you thinking that God doesn't know what you're doing? This, this is what he told me to tell you. You know, and, and, and that came to me, uh, 11, 29, August the 15, 19, I mean, I mean, 2016. That's when these words came to me. And, and, and that didn't just come to me for, any, for nothing. But, but to tell you, you got to stop giving God your leftovers. Because God is not going to accept your leftovers. He, because he is the creator and maker of all mankind. He is the one that made you and know all about it. Amen. Yeah. I, I, I your, your time and your life belong to God. Yeah. You, you know, Paul said to the Philippians, No, you're not. Michael got it. No, you yeah, boy, know where I'm going. No, you're not that you are not of your own. For in that you were bought with a price. Christ paid for you and I that we might be here today. On the hill, I don't want to go there now. On the hill called Calvary. Amen. He paid the debt for it. God didn't give us his leftovers. Y'all don't hear what I'm trying to say? I said God did not give us his leftovers. But he gave us the best that he had. Do y'all recall in the book of Acts, the fifth chapter? How many of y'all recall that? In the book of, book of Acts, the, the fifth chapter, where Ananias and Sapphira, Amen. They promised uh, the apostle that if the church needed anything, that they would give the church what they had. And, they, they, and the Bible said they, 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 they sold their possession. Some had land, and they sold the land and told the apostle, whatever we, we, we get for our land sale, we're going to bring it to you for the use of the church. But Ananias and Sapphira, yeah, amen, at home, yeah. a, 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 amen, before they sold the land, they had good intention. Y'all want y'all follow me now. Before they sold the land, they had good intention. I think you know where I'm going, boy. They had good intention. I'm going to give God that. But when they sold it, the devil stepped in. He said, you don't need to give God all of this. Yeah. Just give God a part of it, a little pinch of it. Pay all your bills. Yeah. Amen. Let, whatever you got coming out of your check, let it be deducted to your credit union. Yeah. What, what, then you can have it sent to the bank. Yeah. Not even come in your pocket, but pay all your bills. Yeah. And then tell the church, I don't have but a little. Y'all don't have what I'm